A watering hole attack targets a shared resource. If the malicious actor is unable to gain access to a target directly, they let the target come to them. This is named after watering holes that form in Africa during the hot winter months as the lakes and riverbeds dry up. If you're a crocodile and you want to eat a zebra, you're not going to catch a zebra on its turf. You're going to let that zebra come to you, come to the watering hole, and then you're going to eat it. So we target a shared resource like a website or software that our target users uh, are known to use. So we compromise this website and then we have to implant malware into the website. It's a multi-step process to gain access to a hardened target. And if we have a sophisticated watering hole attack, they might even restrict access to their malware based off IP or some other potential to ensure that only targeted users of this shared resource do actually get the malware, which makes it even harder to track down.